Hi guys, welcome to Synchroist, I'm your host and today I would like to show you how to remove and also adjust the bracelet in a Rolex watch. I think that many of you guys uh, who bought a first Rolex seem to be struggling with operating the bracelet and also adjusting the links if the watch is too tight or too loose. So today I will show you the easiest way to do this. What's on my wrist today? I am wearing a Rolex Daytona 116503. That's the reference with a bimetal bracelet. Okay, so let's begin. Let me now take off the watch from my wrist and I'll show you how to remove and adjust the bracelet based on this watch. So let's get started. To remove or adjust the bracelet you would simply need two tools and I'll show you them now. The first tool is gonna be a normal screwdriver. Once you can buy in Amazon or any other shop just a normal screwdriver and the size of that should be 160 as I remember so that's a basic screwdriver spring bar tool that's the basic watchmaking tool so we would need that as well to remove the bracelet and also to demonstrate you how to remove or adjust the bracelet I will use this spare link that's a spare oyster bracelet link as you can see each bracelet in Rolex watches is adjusted by screwdriver the size is 160 that's a normal size for oyster bracelets for jubilee links that's a bit different it's a bit small screwdriver but for this one we'll focus on 160s and I would like to show you how to do it. So first you need to make sure that you've got a right screwdriver for this. And if you want to put the link inside, you simply unscrew the bracelet like this. Just make sure you are not scratching the bracelet itself because the screwdriver can slip from your hand anytime so you need to have a steady and balanced grip like this and also it's always good to have a screwdriver which is equipped with this rotating head that helps your wrist to have a steady grip all right that's a screw for rolex bracelets for oyster bracelets Let's leave it there. And now you can open the bracelet wide. And to fit another link into the bracelet, you need to unscrew the screw that's inside this link. And simply fit the additional link into the bracelet. Yeah, and now secure it with screws so it doesn't fall off. And the second part, always be careful not to scratch the bracelet, otherwise you would end up with plenty of scratches or even dents, which are not pleasant, believe you me. And now simply screw both of those screws back into place. The first one is done, now the second one. It's really easy when you have a steady hand. Okay, it's done. Now we've managed to put additional link into an oyster bracelet. It was really easy. And as I said, I'll mention that Rolex. Where is the focus? Where is the focus? Okay, so the Rolex links are the easiest one to adjust. They are really no brainer you just need a screwdriver and that's it and a steady grip and now i'll show you how to remove the bracelet from how to detach the bracelet from the case it's really simple however it's more complicated than removing links for this to happen you would need a spring bar tool with a focus yeah with a fork head like this as you can see the end links have two holes 
and inside going through there up to there there is a spring bar which is removed with a spring bar tool that's pretty obvious and to do this you need to hold the end link with your thumb firmly really firmly and to point into direction in which you want to remove the bracelet from the case and now you simply need to try to hook this spring bar tool into one of the ends of the spring bar and remember to hold and press firmly on the end link and we will do the other side and hopefully the bracelet will release yeah you will hear a click and now it's removed as you can see now just take out the spring bar from the bracelet and now we've removed a bracelet uh, let's click it to the clasp okay and now it's time for a second part that's gonna be much easier you can just hold it as I said before and the bracelet is just laying down on a piece of cloth so that's really easy all right and now try it again hold while releasing the spin bar and remember to be careful of scratching the case of the watch and now that was a pop okay so now we removed a bracelet from from the case it was fairly easy you must say so it was easy however for many of you guys you just don't want to damage a watch and you might be might be simply too scared to do this simple procedure you just need two tools really a spring bar tool and also 160 screwdriver and that's it and you need some practice now we've got a rolex daytona without a bracelet gorgeous watch i love it and now you have a bracelet everything is detached so that would be it and if you want to remove a link from the bracelet i can show you right now no problem so you unscrew the first any bit of the bracelet to, to start this whole procedure yeah that's the first screw out now the second one and as you can see or you not see i'm just this head is sitting there it's sitting there and it's really supported whilst i'm unscrewing the bracelet so that's the way to go remember not to stop yourself and not to force the screwdriver sometimes the screws can be really stiff so they won't come out instantly don't worry just work on that by applying a steady pressure on the screwdriver and the screw and you'll finally manage to remove the link or just unscrew the screw in the bracelet now screw it back okay so now we've managed to remove a link as you can see all right guys that's it for today thank you for watching please like subscribe and stay tuned for more episodes to follow thank you bye